And now to the latest in the Northwestern hazing scandal. A first today, we are actually hearing from university employees. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar reports from Indianapolis and an unusual Big Ten media day. And over the past few weeks, we have made repeated requests with the university to address these hazing allegations. We haven't heard from anyone until today. Interim head coach David Braun, along with the athletic director, taking questions, but noticeably absent from this media day, Northwestern's players. And our guys right now in that facility are going through, going through a lot. In the thick of a major hazing scandal is not how David Braun drew up his first Big Ten head coaching opportunity. I never could have imagined, nor did I desire, to become a head coach under these these types of circumstances. Albeit on an interim role, Braun is now leading Northwestern football through a storm of controversy. After several former players came forward, some even filed lawsuits detailing a toxic culture of hazing. Until today, we hadn't heard from you. We hadn't heard from um, Athletic Director Greg. Why the silence up until today? because we've been solely focused on our players. The student athletes are our first priority. Northwestern Athletic Director Derek Gregg was also asked why he hasn't talked publicly. The brand has taken on a large amount of, of challenges, and that's the university, the athletic department, some of us personally. Well, I've been hit by Sonny? Yeah, I hit Sonny. Most Big Ten teams had a few players take questions from the media, but Northwestern student athletes backed out just a day before they were set to take the podium, citing the hazing allegations. Pat Fitzgerald was fired as head coach. He claims he had no knowledge of hazing within his locker room. So what are you going to do to make sure you do have a pulse on your locker room and know what's happening? It's a great question. Yeah, I mean, no, number one, it's making sure that there's perfect alignment from our, our university leadership, athletic administration, myself, and then our entire staff down to our players. All their conference head coaches say they will try and learn from this controversy. We do have a, a anti-hazing policy at the university and on our football team. Um, our players know that. Um, and that's going to be one of the topics uh, that we're going to cover uh, when, we, when we report to camp next Wednesday. Northwestern's athletic director Derek Gregg did speak for the first time today. He did one interview, but he wasn't on the field today. He wasn't at any of the activities that surround Big Ten Media Day, and we're told that he has no planned press conferences in the near future. Reporting from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. So far, four lawsuits have been filed connected to hazing within the football program.